Welcome to the Invincible demo. The fragment you play is not the beginning, but takes place later in the game. The main protagonists have already been through quite a lot. However, we don't want to spoil your experience of the entire game by explaining too much. On the next page, we provided just a brief introduction to the scene that is taking place. Please keep two things in mind. First, getting to know this fragment of gameplay may still affect your reception of the early parts of the game. Unavoidable spoilers alert. Second, remember that the current state of the game is not the final product. We're still working very hard to improve its quality and performance. And now. Yasna has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she desperately needs to find other people, even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses the excavation area and heads towards the ravine following the convoy. She's getting closer and she needs to prepare for meeting the Alliance by conferring with her astrogator. He's the commander of their unit. From early in the game, he supported Yasna's actions from aboard a spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place, Regis 3. Hi, thanks for joining me. We have another demo for Next Fest. Um, I am linking the first video here. This is actually the second demo um, and completely new gameplay as far as the demo goes. So, here we go. Plan your route to the convoy. Boys location. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. But they're not in the base. They must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. Your call, Yasna. All right, I'll try to get there via the side path. Teensy meansy bit of lag, which is what we dealt with before. It tends to clear itself up as we continue on. Look around. This is Emmett 2001 ID ATR 12. That little thing in the center is. That cute little Alliance Heroes. Hopefully, it will guide me along when I'm supposed to be taking my detour. Destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a site will collapse. How typical of the Alliance. To destroy everything that's in the way. It's a pretty game. Here for that. The radiation level is rising rapidly. It's starting to get interesting. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, Doctor.
We don't have like a flashlight or anything. It's not reacting to anything that I can tell. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy. It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Did I need to trigger it? Flashlight. <laughs> oh, oh uh, there is a thing. Okay, she's not a jumper. Uh, she's not a sprinter. Oh. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Oh no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. <clears throat> I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. Could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. Okay, okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. Oh! They're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. 
some sort of meter. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Athena. Rightly so. What are the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel? And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... Darkness. Can't you see what it was aiming for? Uh, the machine's objective has changed. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Astrocator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Uh, I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. We need such destructive power. This technology puts us on a straight path to annihilation. Well, the Alliance will do anything to feel invincible, hence their flagships. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. And yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. Only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. So, I'll go check it out. I know you will, Yasna. Proceed. All right. Uh, which one? Two of them.
can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. I don't understand you, sir. The audio is breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Seems like a horribly bad idea. Like the worst idea we've ever had. It's an octa coming at me. Huh. Carrying something. Like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Well. The lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. It seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. Carrying boxes. It took one, but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. The box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch crates from its steel grip. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. <sighs> Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, don't you? Can you please check them, Yasna? Do you have anything specific in mind? Metal. Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. 
And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Interesting. <sighs> so the structures I saw following Gorski? Yes. Huh. Or perhaps it's... Looks like two generations. One, all dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... Oh. ...grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule us out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous. Especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Jasper, are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. <sighs> Shit! I can't handle it anymore. <sighs> I wanted to look at the body. I don't think it's gonna let me. I think I. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. Oh, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. I will. I wanted to go see the dead body. I wanted to hear if she said anything. Nope. I missed my chance. Okay. Well, lesson learned. that one. Just that one. And then I'm just gonna give it a minute. Oh, it made me leave. Why didn't you? 
after a series of successful missions. Are you safe now? Safe enough. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti-map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Oh my gosh. I don't really want to walk in its path. Actually, it's right in front of me. So the way that this game was explained is that it's not a horror game, but uh, it's tense, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, words. <laughs> okay, dead face. Oh, dead body. Yeah, Dad. The, whatever those are is uh, growing through that building there. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Taslik here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Huh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here, over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. With the radar. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. 
Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? Navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do... ...hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And? I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. like we're getting out <laughs> i don't know it's relatively safe out here or safe in there i've located one of the transporters sir please don't celebrate yet though something strange has happened to it get to the point please what's wrong with it the outer shell is damaged 
There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Bushes already protrude from the holes. Huh. I don't get it. Those bushes again. And here I thought it was all coming together. I figured out that bushes can consume metal to build their own tissue. Maybe that's what's happened here. Bushes ate the metal shell. Where did they come from in the first place? I admit, it's quite puzzling. Our dude. Not acknowledging that. I want to go that way just to see what's there. But uh, in the previous demo, it doesn't let you stray far from the past. It, it's all weird. Cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir? Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Uh, well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest fawns and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. Mortuus evolutionis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. It didn't give me any new... What do, what do you want me to do?
Right, she doesn't sprint, she doesn't jump. I don't know why it matters, because it's like I'm can we do why is there a force field? Can you see it? The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you are looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, got it. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. I know how to get inside, under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. At that wall that was back there. I was like, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't go this way. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck, indeed. This registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, come here, little probey. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you, too? <sighs> I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. First, the Energobot, 
Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Should I get the... wait, before I kill that, should I get the probe? Uh, cause the probe is contained, right? Don't think I can. Okay, so we'll go over here. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. Uh, just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but... Everyone here is dead. Uh, send shivers down your spine. I know it's hard, getting used to the sight of corpses. It's more than that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. They were left to fend for themselves, yet unable to do so. Uh, this one man, uh, he even ate parts of his suit, trying to survive. Not a runner. <laughs> Sorry, but I keep saying that because out of habit from all games, I'm hitting shift to run and uh, she, uh, she'll gasp for air. I get up there if I'm being honest. What to do? The transporter away. I'd love to, but how? It doesn't climb up. That sound you hear, we learned from the first demo. That's, uh, when you hear that, that's how you know that there's a dead body. It kind of tells you which direction to go.
Uh, the ambient sounds pretty good. There's an ambient noise that happens that sets you a little on edge. Troll issue. Another textural issue. <laughs> Out of demo. All right, fair enough. All right, all right, all right. I'm going back. For a dead body. Oh my gosh. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave though, please check that the cargo is intact. really help our people, Astrogator. It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yes, sir. What are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. I don't have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Like a stupid idea. I must admit, they look amazing. Jasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black hole has opened in the stratosphere. And you say not to worry. Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself. group of these flies could be. I can tell you. Yes, yes, sir, I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. And done. <laughs> Alright, I... I think I complained about this the last time, too. My complaint still stands. Uh, the interactive button, where they want you to interact with something, needs to be much bigger. Um, I have to slam my face into it until I see it sometimes, and that's obnoxious. But other than that, I'm liking where the story is going. Anyway, I will be back with the next demo soon. Thanks for keeping me company.